So here I am um, from hospital, I'm about to go in for a lower facelift surgery um, with Dr. Caritas. Um, and I'm talking to you now feeling extremely nervous, um, but very hopeful because I've done so much research into this um, that I know I'm in the best hands and the most safest hands, so um, fingers crossed it all goes according to plan. But just to give you a bit of background to my situation, it's possibly different from a lot of people who enter into lower facelift surgery. Um, I have had problem skin. Um, well, I developed acne later in life, in my late teens, um, which left me with quite severe scarring. You can probably see um, around the lower, I'll take my glasses off, around the lower part of my face, mainly my cheeks and my chin. Um, and I've had lots of cosmetic procedures. I've had Botox, I've had fillers. I mean, all of which I love Botox and fillers can be great. Um, but I found that these were really starting to kind of change the contour of my face and change the way I look, um, which isn't really what I wanted. Um, and I was spending a lot of money basically trying to get back the skin that I had pre-acne. So after loads and loads of research, I thought, I'm going to speak to Dr. Caridas. Um, went to the clinic for a consultation and basically he agreed with me and said that the way forward is a lower facelift. And here I am about to go into surgery. Um, uh, yes, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified because it's not just me thinking, oh, I'm 45 and I look old for my age. This comes from a much more deep place for me. Um, it, I, I want I want it to work. I want it to, I want to, it's that difficult balance where I want to actually look different, um, but not too different, but I want to look different enough that people will re realize and say, oh my God, you, you look really well, you look really fresh. Um, I'm also prone to fainting. I've got a pretty high pain threshold, but I'm a bit of a fainter. And stupid things like stitches or, you know, if things pull or thinking about how I look or maybe looking in the mirror could actually make me pass out. But yes, like I said, I'm going to be strong. And like everybody, family, friends have said to me, this is the best thing I could have could ever do because they know how I feel about my face and skin. Um, and have done for the past 20, 25 years. So here goes, I will see you on the other side. So the bandages are off and I look pretty swollen and tight. Um, but good, hopefully. Um, it's quite sore, um, but not too bad. Probably I'd say five out of 10, but like I said, I'm still on painkillers. But um, if it goes up like that, I will be very happy if this swelling comes down. Um, and all in all, it's been really straightforward. I'm about to it's nearly half ten and I'm about to um, check out now, so it's all been pretty quick. Um, got all the necessary drugs and things, which is great. Spoken to Dr. Caridas this morning, he said it went really, really well. Um, and Stevie's been in and she thinks it looks great, so I'm feeling very positive. Um, and yes, really feel like it's all worthwhile. I can say that at this point, but um, let's see how it settles. And, Hopefully it'll be the best thing I've ever done. Seven days post-surgery, and I'm here to see Romy for my checkup post-surgery to check on the stitches, the bruising, the swelling, and hopefully get a good outcome from that. <laughs> Yes, so one month on, I'm feeling incredible. Totally thrilled with the results. I'm still a little bit maybe swollen on the cheeks, although I quite like the swollen effect. Um, 
but generally I feel absolutely incredible and the reaction to, from friends and family has just been really, really great. People can't believe how well that I actually look. Um, I think it was about four or five days in, I actually spotted a few little white head spots. I assumed they were just spots. Um, fortunately, I was coming in to see Stevie, the nurse, a couple of days later, and she spotted it really quickly and said, yep, you've got an infection. Apparently it's par for the course, these things happen. Um, and she was great. Straight away, I got some antibiotics and probably within four days, it was absolutely fine. The infection had pretty much gone. Um, and the nausea, which I experienced, I think, as part of the infection, had cleared up as well. So, yeah, it was great. Um, the thing I'm most looking forward to now, the surgery's over and a month on, is just looking in the mirror and not wincing or at the wrinkles and the lines and the saggy skin that was there before. It's really nice just to look in the mirror and actually think yes that's me I feel good um, I was really self-conscious about my skin generally so things like you know meeting new people in the playground and not having to be nervous or shy or try and cover my face um, I got quite obsessed about lighting and didn't really like going into rooms where it was bright lights um, I've even noticed in elevator lights where I used to just shun away and couldn't even look at myself. I'm now like, oh my goodness, that's me. So yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward, I'm seeing some friends soon. I'm looking forward to, you know, how they react and just generally get out there and get more confident and get my life back. Um, if you're considering a facelift, um, do your research, definitely. I mean, Dr. Credits has been incredible. Um, it is the best thing that I have ever, ever done. Um, I'd highly recommend it to anybody, especially if you've got problems or insecurities about your skin, or you know, you just feel like you're looking old, or it's just, it, it, it's been so worth the money. So just the pain, which was really quite minimal. I mean, it is, it is invasive surgery and it is a lot to take on, but the results are far outweigh the, any kind of worry or pain or anxieties that I experience. It's the best, it's been life-changing. Um, the aftercare has been incredible. From the minute that I booked my appointment, um, speaking to Stevie, the nurse, I always felt like the guys were always there for me. It's, you know, I, I kind of knew that somebody was there at the end of the phone whenever I needed them. Um, not that I did very often, but just having that reassurance that somebody is there for you when you hit the low points in the early days. Um, I couldn't fault it, everybody. Dr. Caridas has been incredible. His bedside manner was just amazing, so caring. It's just, I'm gonna be sad to say goodbye to everybody because I feel like they've become friends or family. It's just been so amazing. Great. Feels like Looks well, you look incredible. Thank you. Absolutely fantastic. fantastic. Well, Emma's done really, really well here. I mean, it's just over two months, and you know the results are amazing. I mean, she's had a pretty much a textbook recovery, um, and it's that, that, that's excellent for, for Emma. Obviously, it's a little bit frustrating for me because you know I do this operation all the time, and not everybody gets textbook recoveries. Some people are slower, now, but that doesn't mean that you know that's wrong or, or something went bad before them. It's just the way people are. We're all different, um, and obviously she's been very fortunate. Uh, that she's healed it tremendously well. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I'm, very, I'm very pleased with all the scars are great. They're, they're, they, they fall in line very nicely as they should, just, just inside the ear and tucked around the back here as well. So with her hair, of course, the way it is, pretty long hair, I think it's impossible to see that. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, the important thing, she looks natural. It's still her, just a better version. Yeah. Right? Yes, absolutely. There you go. Like, so yeah. so you're happy natural. you did it. It's oh, life changing. <laughs> and again, very, very happy. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Well, there you go. Thank Says you. it all.